Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Exogate Initiative. Josh Mitchell has black heart problems. <laughs> I think he'll be fine. Simon, Simon's... Nope. Ivy's taking care of him. Simon's like, nope, my shift is done. She will take care of you, sir. He'll be fine. No worries. Now, our base energy is low. We did boost that, I believe, at the end of last episode. We built a couple more generators. So... We have a crap ton of science. We should probably make use of that. We are working on biosample handling, but what would we like to do after that? Because that that allows everybody to be able to 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 handle samples outside of the just the scientists, which is great. We should probably do follow that up with specimen study. Um. Oh, we've, I mean, sorry, we, we should follow that up with the specimen handling so they can also, they can also do that. Cause, cause a scientist mission can do both. They could come back with bi bio samples or specimens. There's not really any indicator which mission will give you what. So we should probably, before we start diversifying our team, we should, we should, uh, get that set up now. Oops. I'm just trying to see. So we've established a, a partial outer ring here. So we should dial these back, disconnect these. I like to explore the same, the full level before extending out even further. So that means we've got these three planets left. So let's connect here. Let's connect here. Then we'll go ahead and connect these three planets. And we still have more power than we we did before. So, let's create a mission. We got three teams here. This is a, actually a diversified team already. I don't remember doing that. It's been a couple days. Easter happened. <laughs> I spent it with the with the uh, with my in-laws, so that was fun. Sort of. Anyway. <laughs> Low mental health. She's probably fine. I feel like that happens where they get to low mental health and the only way to get them out of low mental health is to let them go beyond low mental health and then uh, fix them <laughs> when they get back. Either that or they have a nervous breakdown and never return. I've never had that happen though. Doesn't mean it can't happen. I just haven't had it happen yet. So I think we should have finished the bio sample handling. Yes, I saw it down there. So let's grab specimen handling. And then the next thing we want to do is probably the security, which allows building of base defenses. So I think that'll be, it's, it's either that or it's gonna be the, the or room i haven't seen any planets that even have the ore available yet it's possible these could be ore planets down here pending people returning from their mission but we'll, we'll start with with what we just sent through now i was also kind of thinking about this power room i think what i want to do is i want to dig out another level here oh burger bravo's already talking back no no <laughs> they've lost mental health we found a, oh, I remember this one, the multicolored crystal quarry, no sign of anomalies. They are multicolored? Yes, and since we're in a cave, it's obviously not due to the refraction of the light. Extract a sample or look for an isolated crystal. They succeeded this time. I think last time I told them to find an, uh, a sample, they failed. Good job. Well done. I believe the sample, the crystals are sentient. Spoiler alert. Now I'm going to do something I've never done before, which is build a wall. <laughs> I've, can you believe it? I've never done that in this game. In like 15 episodes or 14 episodes leading up to this new series, I've never built a wall. But what, the reason I built that extra layer here is now we can we can do an entirely new row of generators across. And um, that what that allows us to do is as we replace these, we can keep them three deep because the second tier 
The second tier generator is 2x3, and then the third tier is 3x3, three three, so it just fits really nicely in there. The crystal we took from the quarry, well, it has necrosed, which means it was alive somehow. We could get more information if we returned to the quarry. Granted, it se I said denied last time. Granted, it seems important. Good, because we're already on our way. We'll call when we arrive. I know how things work. You still working on that sample thing? Almost done. Once that's done, we can actually send in taco cheese. Thank you all for sending in more more suggestions for team names. I've been enjoying them greatly. I'm going to go ahead and, s and queue up security just so we can keep research rolling and then we'll do we'll do the the workshop after that. So now we can send taco cheese in. Off they go. And now all we have left is Julia. And I guess Ivy. But once all of our teams come back, we can actually diversify the squads a lot more now. Hey, we got a specimen. Sick. We got two specimens. Hell yeah. Good job. Which team was that? That was Milkshake. Milkshake beat Burger Bravo back through the, the gate. Amazing. They're back. You'll never believe it, Exo. We found the quarry again, and it's completely empty. Who would have thought? Uh, gather data while you can. They succeeded? Where do we even begin? They're losing mental health at an, ex an alarming rate. We should be comfortable de with death, but I'm not. Get some rest, take all the time you need, end the mission. She's stressed out. She's stressed out, team. Get her some medicine, Doc. Prescribe or something. Just going into the pod. Lee, Lee who? Is that your name? It sure is. He also needs diagnosing. We only have one pod though, so we'll just have to make do. We should get a lot of science from those specimens though, so I'm, I'm excited to get those processed. Write a pen. We have one, two, three, four. Bioweapon is very close, and then energy source only has two, so... We'll deal. All right, let's let Taco Cheese come back and then... Well, actually, Taco Cheese is already a diversified squad. So what we could do... We could kick Lee. And we could kick Carolyn. Put Julia Berger Bergeron on Milkshake. And we throw Ivy Smith on, on Burger Bravo. And then we have two spare scientists, which we'll probably have four spare scientists if we get our hands on some engineers and or and or soldiers or even medics. I don't really want to go too heavy on medics, though. But we should get more soldiers, honestly, because it's they're good for base defense. So we'll, we'll think about getting two more soldiers here. We don't need eight soldiers in the pool. That's crazy. Yeah, th three soldiers as as far as like recruits available, and then we'll pick two of two of those available. We should think about digging out the room further because we're down to three beds. That'll get us another set of two. How's our power still at two o five? So that's not a problem. Other the another one point people pointed out was getting the operations room up and running because that one allows you to continually gather more science and train up a, a lower squad team. That's a it's a good idea as well. I suppose once we've cleared cleared this one, we'll see what our next set of um, goals is, and then maybe that'll guide us towards something. Let's expand the bedroom here. Wee! They're back. Just normal samples this time. It has occurred to us on the committee that while exploring new worlds, you may encounter rare or precious materials. Ah, looks like workshop is going to be the next one. Okay, we'll we'll prioritize workshop next with our sampling, and then we'll. Ah, sure enough, there is an there are two ore ore planets available. 
Uh, we'll prioritize getting the workshop off the ground. But let's see here. I think... Oh, there's a level two. I, know, I understand how ore missions work. These all look to be level three with the exception of this guy. Right? Right? Here. So, I think what we'll do is disconnect this one for now. And then connect here and here. And then let's set out our diversified team. You know... I'm gonna I'm gonna swap some people around here. Let's take Josh out and steal Ivy from Burger Bravo. And then create new mission. Burger Bravo, you need a new team member. And who did I kick out? I kicked out Josh, I believe. So this is a full science squad. Whoops, not a new team. Judith, Judith, you, you're still stressed. <laughs> go, go talk to the doctor. Maybe the doctors have been on missions. <laughs> they can't, they can't get talked to. All right, let's grab some more generators up in here. One, two, three. Oh, soldiers available for hire. I almost forgot. All right. Cheapest soldier, Antoine, you're already on my short list. I think we got to go with Cece Cecile. I kept wanting to call call her Cecil. Uh, Cecile Chevalier. That's a great name. It sh is this her husband or brother? <laughs> relative, maybe uncle. Uh, and then Yao Tang. I'm get. You know, I only talked about getting two. I'm gonna get three. I'm so impressed with the three candidates. All right, and then we can mix it up a little bit because we got a lot of people on here now. So Burger Bravo is going through. Taco Cheese is already a diversified team. So what do we do? I think we make a new team here. I'm trying to remember what some of the names were. We still haven't made Angel Food Cake, which is, is very good. And this wing team makes a lot of sense. Angel... Angel food cake. Ah, I thought it would be too long. What if I just say angel cake? You know what I mean. Angel food. We could jam it all into one. <laughs> angel food cake. No spaces. You have to say it that fast every single time. And then uh, we'll make it kind of like a brown. Well, no, br brown is burger. I guess angel food cake is kind of yellowish. Sure. Well, that kind of taco cheese. Maybe the silver team. Yeah, it's just slightly different from milkshake. Okay, so now this is kind of a, a youngish team. This would be a really good team. This would be a really good team for for the recurring science mission once we get the the um ops room off the ground. And I'm kind of thinking the ops room might want to, like, just, like, shove it all the way back here. Because nobody ever interacts with the ops room. It just doesn't do anything. I'm kind of thinking it would make sense to... Oh, there's a... You see the in, in impenetrable bricks back there? Maybe we do it this way, then. Or at least see how far we can dig. That one's pretty good. That one goes, like, all the way to the edge. So let's dig that out. We can just shove the ops room at the very back, because nobody's going to go back there anyway. <laughs> Nobody needs to access the ops room. You just shove your equipment back there and never look at it again. Now, we should think about a low... I mean, the lowest level mission we have is a level 3 now. So maybe we connect here, hit this, and send Angel Food Cake and wish them the best. Their two scientists are fairly okay. It's just the, the soldier that's a little bit of a... Uh-oh. This is really bad. Did you see how much mental health they lost? Also, she's saying host paint. Bzz, bzz, oh, host paint. Adams, I can't hear you. 
It should be working now. I said we found a painting. Oh my god. I said we found a painting of the three of us dead. What are you talking about? Let me start from the beginning. We were exploring old ruins we, when we found a temple with an altar inside, and on top of it there was the painting of us dead. When we entered the temple, our devices started glitching. I came outside to call you. Uh, get, <laughs> get a closer look at the painting. They succeeded. And they reached level two. They keep losing mental health. It's I <laughs> She's gonna kill. What is with my medics and being absolutely psychotic? The medic's gonna kill everyone. Yes, I'm going back. Uh, XO, the whole team is here with me. The painting is signed by Ivy Smith. Smith, explain yourself. Are you making fun of me? I'm innocent, XO, I swear. Bring the painting back to base? Oh, they failed. Well, uh, yes, we can analyze it later for authenticity. Team, they're losing mental health at an alarming rate. We couldn't take the painting, it disappeared. Are you talking about ghosts? Obviously not. We think it's some kind of space-time rift that projects visions of parallel worlds. But since a whole civilization disappeared here, we are not taking any chances. I never like prophecies anyway. Neither do I. We'll continue the mission. Continue exploration. That's horrifying. That's a new one. I've never seen that one before. I, I, Ivy, I've got my eye on you. You come... You, you start killing people in surgery just like... What's her name? From last time. You're you're on a short stick or a short leash <laughs> short stick All right 350. What does it take to get the workshop 400? We're very close then and we got three teams out there Angel food cake I don't think they've gone through yet Yeah, there he is. Hey, are you ready to go? It was oh he was treated for sleep deprivation. Well, that's fair. Hey, we got a bunch of science. Good job, Milkshake. Well done. I'm proud of you guys for not for not getting murdered in the alternate dimension. Was that them or was that a different team? I can't remember. All right, security has been researched. I think that allows us to start building defenses, which is kind of dope. Patents are making us some money. We still are pretty dependent on the committee, though. We should build some guns. And I kind of liked our situation last time, where we had the guns built around the corner. Some smaller samples, not too bad. So let's get two pistol racks going here. And we can always replace those with better guns as we go. And then I liked how we had the the defensive places right next to where the the things come in. And then I'm, what I'm thinking is once we get access to the the barrier door, I'll put one right across here so they're kind of stuck between my soldiers and a uh, and trying to get out in into the base further. We actually have one extra soldier. Uh, can I not assign Tang? I guess Chevalier? Alright, how's our theories looking? Here we go. Bioweapons ready to roll. Of course it's the bioweapon. Start writing that bad boy. Any new patents? This energy source is very close. Everything else has two... This one has three, so fairly close, but not quite. All right, angel food is through the gate now. Good job. Angel food cake. I, I gotta say it fast. And then we're very close to being able to get the workshop off the ground. I'm still shaken by the, the painting of people <laughs> being portrayed uh, as being murdered by their colleague. Or are not, I guess being portrayed as murdered, but signed by their colleague? But they did say it was all three of them, so she killed herself and her and her teammates? I don't know, man. I don't I don't claim to understand alternate realities. 43 science away. So hopefully Angel Food Cake, Angel Food Cake, when they come back, will have brought enough science to achieve our goal. They sure did. Wow, they almost brought 100 science back. 
Good job. Maybe they did, even including this. Well done, team. Good, good, good. All right. 516. Yeah, we can, we can research that bad boy right now. Let's do it. Ah, looks like, so security blast door is 300, shielded guard post is 300 on its own. Increasing the shield strength, and then turret. Where are the better guns? Oh, I bet the advanced weaponry, Durr. Holy moly, this is huge. We'll, we'll, we'll deal with that later. <laughs> let them, let them research the workshop first, and then we can talk about hiring some engineers as well. Might want to start with maybe just like two engineers, and then we can have two beds that are still open. We should probably send our next squads through. So I'm just trying to think. I don't want to lose track of. We, we only want to go three out. So let's connect here. And then let's connect here. So let's create mission for taco cheese to... Well, actually, let's go milkshake. And then Taco Cheese can do the unusual event. There we go. No condition to go on a mission. Simon, you've been partying too much? Where is that guy? Oh, he's asleep. <laughs> he's in no condition because he's dreaming. All right, Milkshake's ready to roll. Ready to rock and roll. Don't tell Milkshake what to do. How's this coming along, Judith? Not quite, like 20% there. All right, taco cheese is ready to rumble as well. Good job. Fixing up the generators. Don't want the jennies to burn out on you. Any new patent materials? So close on energy source. I'm, I'm waiting for the energy source to pop in here and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be real excited. So, so the workshop is, is planned to go here. Oh, Milkshake's checking in. We made an intriguing discovery. Ah, the ice flower. I remember the ice flower. Nice pun, keep me informed, because it's pretty cool. Enjoy your time out. If I recall, the ice flower is like, se not sentient, but alive, so it like crawls across the desert floor or something like that. Milkshake is going to be checking in again in six hours. Right now. The ice flower disappeared. What? How? Something moved it? Split up and searched the area. They succeeded. You better stay online. I will. Wait. It can move by itself. There must be a logical explanation. They failed the logic test. We're here for science, which means taking a sample, I'm afraid. Got the sample. Have an epic migration all the way back to Earth. All right, there. They have three days left on their mission. Got a rare patent theory for textile source. And a common theory for heat resistance. Rats. I was hoping the energy energy source so I could write the next patent. So, as far as we were talking about with next level rooms. So, I did enjoy... Enjoy? I liked putting our library back here. I thought that made a lot of sense. I'm kind of thinking it makes it might make sense to have another hallway running back here. Like so. And then we can put a back door into the training room here. And then if we needed to, we could even dig out the, the lunchroom even further and expand it a little for. Three samples is fantastic news. Well done, team. Good job. Yeah, Evelyn is still working on the, the workshop. Just over 50%, it looks like. Little rovers are digging, digging. What we might want to do, actually, is we might want to... Our next thing that we research... We might want to actually research the next level of generators. Although the operations room is a good, a really good option. Especially because we're starting to push out into the, to the next tier. I think the operations room should be the next priority once we finish the workshop and then we'll get into the second tier of of uh 
generator. We still have plenty of space to expand outwards within the current generator room, so we shouldn't really be getting, like, too gung-ho about replacing them already. Build that door. And we're, and we're doing pretty good about, like, the connection-disconnection plan so far. So let's see here. So we've gone out that way. I wanted to save this for when, once our, our workshop is online so we can at least, we can do that all together. We don't have to waste time. Can disconnect these two for now and these two because if I d connect to these two, we'll just go through this planet like so. Otherwise, we could probably disconnect this whole row and then go through here and reach these two. Let's set up Angel Food Cake on their next mission here. Lee Hu is always dragging his feet, man. Is he asleep again? He's not. I don't actually know where he is. Oh, he's already, what are you talking about? He wasn't ready to go. It's like, was it, is in no condition. Immediately walks through the door. <laughs> All right. Josh Mitchell is starting to, he's, he's dragging the workshop over the finish line. He's like, I'm going to finish this if it kills me. Hopefully it doesn't kill him. I'd have to replace you then. Still writing the bioweapon patent from a while ago, so we haven't finished that one. I wonder, oh no, Julie's there. I was like, do we, did Julie go through the, the gate? I'm sure she does at some point. Angel food is checking in. Oh crap, it's the robot octopus. We all, we all are very aware of what the robot octopus is. Is it friendly? I don't think so. What is it made out of? It's the highest percent chance. We succeeded. How would I have access to a scholar already? How many tentacles does it have? They failed the perception test. Eight. Uh, no, it's ten. That's a squid, not an octopus. <laughs> so like, I didn't sign up to have an asshole of a director. Return to the gate. It just swiped it brown. No, get out of there quickly. Yes, more arriving. Just keep moving. They aren't pursuing. I think we're good. I'll blacklist this planet. All right, brown got swiped at... She survived, though. So, we've run into the Scarb, which means it's imp it's good that we have soldiers now. However, after we get the operations room, might be a good idea to start um, investing in that, that blast door. So we can kind of enact my bottleneck strategy here. What I was thinking would be a really cool strategy is to, like, set a series of doors that the octopods couldn't get through. And it might necessitate us to rebuild this wall of the bedchamber here. Um, and just shift everything over one tile. But um, the reason I would do that is because then I could build a series of blast doors that the octopods would have to blast through while being fired upon the entire time. So that, that was kind of my strategy for a tower defense in Exogate Initiative. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, have we finished the... We have finished the research. Great, great news. Operations room, you're up next. And then let's queue up the workshop here like so then we might as well build a door between our our research room and then we should go ahead and recruit some engineers here man engineers are picky holy cow i want at least three candidates you make me pay out the nose for for engineer staff here crazy good All right, and how do we want to set this up? We need the workbench for suits, which we have this like convenient little like nook over here that we can kind of shove that in. And then we got the ore analyzer, which we could do right across from it. I kind of like that setup. And then we need to uh, research the foundry after the fact. Ore sample storage is also important. So maybe like one, two, three for now. 
I don't know if we need that many. We'll just do three. We can always sell them later. And then we'll get into the foundry in a second. I don't actually... How much does the foundry cost? Ore processing is 200. Okay. Can be pretty lucrative, though, once you get the... Once you get the Astoril up and running. She was electric shocked. That's right. She got, she got tentacle swiped. All right. Now... Before I forget, how long? We have five days. Okay, let's pause the episode there. We're going to pick back up with the engineering team coming in, and it, uh, we'll, we'll integrate them in with the, the teams, and then we'll send all three teams out together. Um, so we'll, we'll start next episode with that. If you guys enjoyed, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more Exegate Initiative or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot. But until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.